Hi everyone, it's now 2022. <laughs> I hope New Year's was okay uh, for you. Oh my god, it's 2022. I can't believe that we have survived another pandemic year. And if you have, just pat yourself on the back because the last couple of years have been really crazy and bad for everyone and... I think like everyone else, I'm just hoping at one point it'll, it'll get better again. I want to make this video talking a bit about how the last year was, but also doing some New Year's r resolutions because <laughs> they're always so nice. I mean, I kind of want to maybe start doing this, maybe doing a video like this every start of the new year and see how good I was <laughs> with the stuff that I thought I said I would do. Yeah, I want to talk both about personal stuff and also channel stuff. And for the personal stuff, I really feel like I have grown a ton this year. Therapy has been so good for me and I have become a much more self-reflecting and self-accepting person, if that makes sense. Now that I can look back and have, having had a year that was really, really good, I can see how bad it was before. Like the years maybe from when I was 23 to like last year, maybe like 30 or 29, 30 have been really bad. And if you're new here, maybe you don't know, but in 2016 I had heart surgeries, three of them in the span of one year and I ended up needing a pacemaker and that has, it really threw me off my game, let's just say. <laughs> and this year I've really come to accept the pacemaker, I think, for the first time since I got it. I've really come, I've, I've made my peace with needing it and accepting that it's there, accepting my body, body the way it looks now and just accepting having a few limitations of stuff that I can can no longer do anymore and stuff that, that I need to pay more attention to and, and that was really, I struggled with that a lot but it's gotten a lot better over the course of the last year and that of course has a lot to do with how therapy went and how good it was for me. That's really been like the big personal personal thing this year that I feel like I've become my own, if that makes sense. I'm now 31 and I finally feel like I'm a complete person. I just accepted so much stuff about me, but just like not only limitations in terms of the pacemaker, but also just limitations that I have mentally too that I don't really like being in groups of people. Not that that is possible at the moment any, anyway, but I just don't, I like being one-on-one -on -one with someone else. Group things are very, they take a lot out of me, so I have to plan them and and really, really prepare myself for them, for example. And, and that's totally fine. It's just something that I didn't really think about before. And, I never really knew how much energy that took out of me whenever something, a group setting thing occurred. It just helped me so much in my in my day to day life dealing dealing with these dealing with these things. And it's it's just been so nice this year to discover myself and and really set boundaries uh, and accept myself for who I am. And I really like that. And I hope that continues into next year. I also started working out again a couple of uh, a couple of month, months ago, like three months ago or something. It hasn't quite yielded the, the results that I hoped it would, but I know that that is mostly to me still eating like a trash can. <laughs> and that is my first New Year's resolution to try and finally eat more healthily. I'm so bad at that. Also, like mentally speaking, since I can't uh, go to therapy, the way that I did until now, because my, my sessions are running out and I will only have therapy every couple of months, I still hope I have the tools now to make it on my own, so to speak. And with that also comes the preparation for my next surgery, because in 2023 I will have to have surgery again 
because the pacemaker needs changing, the battery's running out. And I hope I can mentally prepare for that better than I did the last times talking about the channel and what has happened the last year on the channel. I mean, the big thing for me, at least, was indie leaving, um, them doing one wanting to do their own stuff and not worry about about putting out videos that for me was a big thing just because now it's all on me I, I even though indie hasn't been on the channel for a while I, for me it was still our thing and i i always talked about it in the terms of our thing and now it's just my thing <laughs> and that's kind of weird and also nice but also very weird. <laughs> it's been a good year. We st I started, see, I did it again, we. I started with uh, 93 subs at the start of last year, and now I'm almost at 300, which is so cool to see. And those are like peanut numbers to some other people, but for me, it's, it's, it's so great. It's so awesome. I, I can't thank you enough, all of you who, who joined. And I know that a lot of people came in from the Outer Wilds series and also from the Kingdom Come series, so thank you guys. And we finished nine games on the channel this year. One of them uh, with Nayuki. We, we did the forest and Nayuki, of course. He's the one who does all of my thumbnails and I want to thank him specifically again, just because I love you so much. Thank you. I finished Outer Wilds and I did 12 minutes. I did Kingdom Come. I did Control. I did so I did so many games. But I think most, of course, I enjoyed Outer Wilds. That was just such... That was just an, a gaming experience that I don't think I have ever had and probably never will have in the same, in the same vein I did with Outer Wilds. And that was also kind of the series where I discovered what I really want to do with the channel, where I really was like, I want to do story driven stuff and have like these big reactions to them because that's just me. I just have big emotional reactions if something manages to grab me on an emotional level, which is what I'm looking for in a game. And Outer Wilds was really that series that grabbed exactly that part of me and where I, like, where I was like, this is the type of game that I want to continue playing on the channel and that I want to continue having reactions to. I think all the interactions on the videos that I had were like, all of you were so kind and positive. And when, when I ca came back in September, I think, for the DLC, that was the first time people were like, oh, I saw you play the original one and now I wanted to see you play the DLC. I'm so glad you play the DLC and that was that was so nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for for those kind words. That I I'm still stunned that people liked the thing and wanted to see another thing. <laughs> that was really really cool. And I also really 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 loved playing Control. That game was so weird and so good. And I really, really wish it had more of like a cult following because I think, in my opinion, it deserves the same level of adoration that Alan Wake does. So yeah, thank you to any, everyone who's joined this year. Thank you for everyone who's been there from before. Thank you. Just, I don't know what else to say. I, I also started doing shorts. That has been a total game changer, like my numbers have s skyrocketed since then because shorts apparently get a very, very different treatment from the YouTube algorithm than uh, the regular Let's Play videos do. And they've also brought a lot of new people, so if you're here from the shorts feed, thank you too. I hope you continue to enjoy the shorts I put out. Now going into 2022, what do I want to do on the channel? I thought a lot about in the last year because growth has been very, very slow. But I also feel like it has to do with me not really having a niche type of game that I play. And I thought about changing that. I, I, I had like this idea of maybe doing only games with female protagonists or, or LGBTQ plus protagonists. I don't think I want to limit myself in that regard. I enjoy 
narrative driven games that I can have big emotional reactions to. That's just, as I said before, that's just really what I like to do. And some of these games will have male protagonists. That something like Jedi Fallen Order, I want to play that game and I don't want to limit myself in the way of saying I can only play these types of games on the channel. So if that means grow slow, growth is slow, then that's what it is. I don't want to change that just because of the numbers and that might sound high and mighty, but it's really just, I don't think I could sustain the level of work I put into this if I start doing it for the numbers. I just couldn't. That's a limitation that I have. I still will try to make a, l a very, very tiny amount of money from the channel. I want to sell a shirt. I have already started working with an artist for the design of it. It will be probably like s still six months out from now. But I do, I am already working on it. I do want to do it and it's going to be a limited drop. So the shirt will only be available for probably a month or a month and a half. And then it will be gone forever. You can no longer get it. And maybe I can sell like, I don't know, 10 shirts would be awesome. And I can make like a minimal amount and break even maybe uh, paying the, the artist. And I will also... Once I hit 500 subs, which will probably, hopefully, hopefully, maybe be the end of next year, um, I will start a Patreon page. As soon as I hit 500, I have already, I already know what tiers I wanna, I wanna do. Um, I need to set it up, of course, and I need to do do some reading up on tech stuff for, because German tax laws are crap. But I do want to do that too, so, um, but that's also going to be, as I said, that's in the distant future of maybe at the end of, of 2022, I might be able to, to launch that. I'm just having so much fun doing these and I have so much fun interacting with all of you guys, especially in the comments. I have met so many cool people doing YouTube. I just want to continue doing that and being as much of myself as I can be on the internet, doing silly let's plays, having big emotional reactions, doing extremely silly edits and just have fun with it all. And I hope you too have fun with me, watching me, uh, doing all of that. And I love you all very, very much. And I hope the year 2022 is kind to you, is kind to me, is kind to us all. So for now, please, please, please stay safe, stay healthy. Bye bye und auf Wiedersehen.